Hello guys, I'm back with another video. It's been a while. Uh, long story short, all the ramping and training and uh, I was pretty tired. So, uh, got a little bit behind but I'm back now. The Christmas tree is up and uh, it's not fully decorated but it's there and that's the main thing. Anyway, uh, yesterday I did a four hour ride, the right pace. And uh, today is slightly easier. I've got an hour in the morning on the rollers just to recover a bit. And then in the evening, I have got a little bit of sweet spot to do. So that's nice. And uh, I was changing the tires on my bike because yesterday three, three punctures, well, one puncture each across three people, which is just a bit unlucky really. But I had a puncture and I had like two punctures on those tires before already. So I put some new tires on. I changed the brake pads because, uh, well, they were pretty worn and they had like bits of metal in, so they were wearing down the rims a lot faster change brake pads and you know the uh, one of the bolts to get the brake pads out it was seized so um i rounded the bolt because yeah which is a bit annoying but uh, you know doing being the hacker man that i am uh i fixed it so uh there it is got the new pad in now uh so what i did i took the whole block out obviously the bolt was stuck in and uh i put it in a vise and i sawed a line on the bolt got a uh, flathead screwdriver bob's your uncle comes out like a charm. Uh, obviously I'm not going to put the bolt back in because that's a bit risky business but uh, no, I'll be fine. I used to race with no bolts in because I changed between carbon and aluminium rims and it's just every time changing the bolts it's just a pain so I just used to leave them like that and if they're tight enough they stay in pretty uh, pretty firmly. So let's go on a bake raid on the rollers of course and I've taught myself how to get on the rollers without support so that's pretty fun. A little bit sketchy but let's give it a try. Eight hours later. Fast forward eight hours, I've uh, done the day and uh, I've also done my turbo turbo session. And I thought, you know what, today I've got the turbo that can read power. I'll use the erg mode, give a nice flat, smooth power line for my intervals. There's only a couple of zone three, zone three intervals, so nothing really that taxing. Uh, at least it shouldn't have been. But what I didn't realize, what I'd, I sort of figured out, because I was like, mm, this feels a bit dodgy, so I, I started a uh, recording my Garmin with my with my actual power meter just to compare and uh, yeah I was doing my intervals at like 15 30 watts higher than they should have been and uh, it ended up being pretty hard so yeah if you have a power meter use a power meter because that was, uh, that was a little bit grim got a little bit uh, tired and uh, yeah I'm already fairly tired really excited just to keep getting stuck in my training really I uh, I kind of wish I could go outside more uh, recently it's been like five degrees in rain quite a few times and uh, I'm not keen on that. I'm really not keen on that. So uh, Zwift it is for the time being, which I do love. I do love Zwift, especially because last year I started using Zwift like in September. So I was a little bit sick by now. But this year, if I'm only using it for half of November, December, January, bit of February, it's not, not so bad. Only like three months. So uh, Hopefully I'll be getting into the Zwift racing soon, because last year I was Zwift racing by like mid-December. So uh, that is how, like, who needs a chain gang when you can do a Zwift race? That is, uh, yeah, they will get you uh, fit very quick, because they are hard. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Ah.